ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث من حما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي حد محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Fellow brothers May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this Jumu'ah the best Jumu'ah for all of us We know that every Jumu'ah the Imam is here to remind all of us with the reminder of Allah by reciting Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu taqallaha haqqa tuqatih wala tamutunna illa the Khatib is always sending every Jumu'ah on his member to call upon all the Muslims, the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, to be faithful to Allah. Ya ayuhal lazina amanu, ittaqillah. 
after we have believed in Allah, after we said that we are mu'min, we are a believer, Allah is still calling us to have taqwa. Meaning there is a difference between iman and taqwa. Iman is iman. You know what is an iman? Iman is a person who believes in the six article of faith. The six article of faith, if you believe in Allah, believe in the angel, believe in the books, believe in the prophets, believe in Yamul Akhirah, believe in Qadr and Qadr, you have Iman. But in the same time, the Prophet Wasallam said, La Iman liman la amana tala. Remember, there is no Iman if there is no Amana. Quran is an Amana. It's the duty of every Muslim to read the book of Allah and then after reading the book of Allah understand what Allah wants you to do and what Allah forbids you and stay away. After you understand it, it's your duty to try to act upon the ayah because the book of Allah is not just a book for you to read but for you to understand and act upon it. And after you have act upon it, it is your amana to make sure the book of Allah, this book is hudalli nafs. It's not only for you or for me or for Muslim, but it's for every human. It's a divine guidance, a book that Allah revealed to every one of us, Muslim, people who are not yet Muslim. It is also our duty as Qaira Ummah to bring the message of Islam, to bring the Quran, out to the world and call everybody back to Allah. That's why Iman is not just word. It's al Iman lip tamanna. Warakin ma wa qrabi qalbi wa sadaqa bi lisani wa amalu bi jawari. Iman is not just word, names, without action. We are the best ummah. How can we become the best ummah if we don't show good example to other people? And Allah said, after you have iman, the Prophet remind us, La al jannah Remember, nothing is more important for us in Yamul Qiyamah than iman. You have all the money you have, all the property, but if you have no iman, whatever you have cannot save you in akhirah and cannot bring you to Jannah. The only thing that Allah value in akhirah is iman. Only iman will qualify every one of us to enter Jannah. Ittaqillah. After you have the iman, it's our duty to try to improve, to increase, to protect, to secure our iman with taqwa. Taqwa is more than just iman. That's why Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu remind us, a taqwa a yuzqara falayunsa, a person who have taqwa is a person who always remember Allah while standing, while sitting, while lying down. In the mosque, outside the mosque, in the office, in the shop, in the market, you never forget Allah. He remember Allah while standing, while sitting, while lying down. While he's alone, while he's in the public. He <coughs> never, he never forget Allah. A person who has taqwa. He know Allah oversee him. In Allah kana alaykum raqila. Allah supervises us. He monitors us. Like a video camera. You cannot run from Allah. So wherever he is, like what the Prophet said, Ittaqillah kunta. Have taqwa to Allah wherever you are. Not only when you are in your fam with the family, in the Muslim house, in the mosque, in front of the Imam. Behind the Imam you become a shaitan. No. No. You always remember Allah. Good time, bad time, you always remember Allah. When you remember Allah, Allah remember you. But Quruni, Al Quruk. 
When Allah remember you, He will protect you. When Allah protect you, nobody can destroy us. Nobody. But if Allah is not there to protect you, anyone can destroy you. And the meaning of taqwa, again, the second meaning of taqwa is ayushkar falayukfar. Taqwa will make you a person who are very thankful to Allah. You always shukr upon the nikmah Allah have given you. Even small, but it's a nikmah. It is a nikmah that we can pray Juma in peace. It is a nikmah. Your eye can see, your ear can hear, yeah? your tongue can taste it. It's a nikmah. Your health is a nikmah. The brotherhood we have is a nikmah. Your family is a nikmah. Your work is a nikmah. You have ilm is a nikmah. Everything is a nikmah from Allah. Be thankful for Qurud. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remind us. Yeah, if you are shukur with Allah, Allah la azidan naqum. If you make shukur to Allah, la azidan naqum. Wala in kafartum, in azabi la shadid. If you do not have shukur, Allah will take it back. Everything bit by bit, He take it back. We have Islam, it's a nikmah. The greatest nikmah is Islam, who make everyone like a brother. Whether you are Somalia, whether you are other country, whether you are black or white, Arab, non-Arab, it's a great nikmah of Islam. وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَسْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَةِ إِخْوَانًا Be thankful to Allah. Not just say, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. This is work, lip service. No. You must make shukur with action. I have money. Allah gave me money. Alhamdulillah. I infak fi sabirillah. For the rape. For the, for the cause of Allah. That is called shukur. Bilamal. Bisa bilisan faqa. And also taqwa means, other than the first one, I use karfala yunsa, I use karfala yukfar. Also, taqwa remind us to do what? Yeah. Taqwa remind us to always honor every single soul. Yeah. Every single soul. How do you honor? You know the Prophet ﷺ remind us. A person who have taqwa, insha'Allah, وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ we know where is taqwa. A taqwa mahal fi qalb. Fa asara ila sadrihi thalatha mar. Here, taqwa is inside the heart. And then after that, Allah said, Wala tamutunna illa wa antum muslim. Make sure none of us, after have iman and taqwa, will die outside Islam. No more. You cannot die outside of Islam. Why did Allah say, وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ Meaning, if you don't take care of your iman and taqwa, you can die as a non-Muslim. A lot of people who are born as Muslim, they pray, they recite the Qur'an, but after some time, you don't take care of them, they don't take care of their iman, they don't take care of their taqwa, now they have left Islam. Now they don't pray. Now they don't read the Qur'an. Many children today don't pray. Once upon a time they pray, but now they don't pray. What is Muslim? You know, the Prophet said, "Al Muslim man salim al Muslimun min lisanihi wa yadi." A Muslim is a very peaceful man, a peaceful person. Wherever he go, he take care of his tongue, he take care of his hand, he don't hurt another Muslim. He don't talk bad to an Muslim. He's very careful. A Muslim, a mu'min, a mutaqin always remember. Kullu Muslim ala Muslim haramun damuhu wa maluhu wa irdu. Every Muslim to another Muslim is haram, sacred. What is haram? Maluhu wa damuhu wa irdu. You cannot take the property of another Muslim. You cannot lie to him. When you do business, you cannot cheat him. It's haram. 
You cannot disrespect him. Humiliate him. Ird. He has the honor to be respected as Muslim. You cannot injure him. You cannot harm him. La darar wa la dirar. This is part of the teaching of Islam and the teaching of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, if every Jumaat, brothers, if every Jumaat, we remember what Allah and the Prophet want us to do, and we improve one Jumaat, we improve with five improvement. If you have been performing Jumaat fifty times, that means how many times you have improved yourself? How many times you have upgrade yourself? But what have happened to this Ummah? Al Juma'a ila Juma'a have no impact in our life. Nothing changed. After this Juma'a, wait for another Juma'a and come here and see Salaam Alaikum Alaikum Salaam. But finish. No changes. They must have changed. You must have some improvement. Why every Juma'a the man must come to the mall? To be reminded so that after this Juma'a, after you finish the prayer and you go out and look for the dunya, you don't forget Allah. You become a better Muslim now. Another Jumat better until you become the best. Then the Jumaa have meaning. Al Jumaa il al Jumaa mukaffarat bayna. We know this. The Prophet remind us there will be some changes. If there's no changes, that means we have failed the Jumaa. And we know Jumaa is the day where Allah choose to create Adam alayhi salam. And this is the day Allah sent Adam into paradise. The same day Allah take him out and send him down to this world. And Jumu'ah is a day where Adam passed away. And Jumu'ah <coughs> is a day of Yawmul Qiyamah. This is a saying of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless us, strengthen our Iman, and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala make us a mu'min, a muttaqin, and end with Muslim, inshaAllah. Aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullaha li wa lakum, wa li sa'ir muslimin kulli zan fa astaghfiru, innahu huwa ghafuru rahim. الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسانه إلى يوم الدين فقال الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا قوا أنفسكم وأحليكم نارا Fellow brothers, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the awareness. The awareness to remember to save our soul. Ku anfusakum. To save our soul, to save our iman. And after saving ourselves, Alhamdulillah, you're here, Jumaat. Even when you know everybody is busy with dunya, business is still carry on. But for the Muslim, we know. Jumma'ah, the time for Jumma'ah, there's no business. Because Allah said, Ya ayuhal lazina amanu iza nudiya li salatu min yawmi li Jumma'ah, fas'aw ila zikrillah wa zarul bayin. Stop business. And that's why you are here. If you do not stop your business, I don't think you will be here with me. You are here because you respond to the command of Allah. Fas'aw ila zikrillah wa zarul bayin. At this time, if you do business, your business is haram. Because this time, Allah forbid to do business. After the prayer, fantashir fil min fadlillah. After this, go out and do business. Why? Because we need to save ourselves. We need to have some income, halal income. There is also our jihad to earn a halal living. 
to bring the halal money and food back to our family, to feed them with halal food, is jihad. <coughs> this is great jihad. Save your soul. After you save yourself, don't forget your family. We hope that this Juma you are here. Next Juma you'll come with your son, with your brothers, with your fathers, because we've got to save all of them. It's not right you just think of yourself. I want to go to Jannah. How about your son? It's up to him. How can you say, oh, it's up to him? No. He is your children. And if he is your children, you are a father. We know what Prophet said. Every one of us is a leader, at least to yourself and a leader to your children, to your family. Everyone will be questioned by Allah in the day of judgment. What have you done to your family? You cannot escape them. This is something nobody can escape. Allah may not ask you about Oslo. Allah may not ask you about Somalia. Allah may not ask you about Saudi. Allah will not ask you about Europe. No. But Allah will ask you about yourself. Yourself. And also about your family. Because this is something everybody can do. But if you are a leader, Allah asks you about your country. But you are no leader. You are just a normal citizen. But you yourself will be questioned by Allah. Save them from hellfire. And Allah has reminded us from in nas Rabbana atina. Rabbana atina. Atina what? Fidunya. They want dunya, dunya, dunya. You want dunya, Allah gave you dunya. In akhirah, you have nothing. فَمِنْهُمْ مَا يَكُلُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنًا وَقِنَا عَزَابَ النَّارِ That is the best. There is another group. Who is here to say, Oh Allah, give us hasana here. I also want hasana in this world. But I do not want just here. I also want hasana and success in the hereafter. Here is to for hereafter, not only here for here. There is the life of the Muslim, the Mu'min, and the Muttaqin. They live not to die for dunya, they live here to die for akhirah. And for that, you are reminded, فَمَنْ أَرَادُ الدُّنْيَا فَأَلَيْهِ بِعِلْمِ You want to be successful in this world, you must have the knowledge of this world. You want to be success in the next world, akhirah, فَأَلَيْكُمْ بِعِلْمِ You have to have the knowledge of akhirah. If you want to have success both, like what we ask Allah Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina azabana then you must have the knowledge of dunya and the knowledge of akhirah then it's balance that means you use dunya a dunya khuliqat lakum wa laqinnakum khuliqat lil akhirah dunya is to serve you you are the master of the dunya but you are the slave for Akhirah. But if you become a slave of dunya, you will be a loser. So it's very important, brothers. We hope after you understand the khutbah today, you start to be a better Muslim. A Muslim who don't just think of himself. Alhamdulillah, I'm a Muslim now. I've been praying now. How about my brothers? How about my family? How about my neighbor? Have they been praying? Not yet. It's your duty to remind them. Adinu nasiha. Wa zakir fa inna zikratan fa al mu'minin. How about your friends who are not yet Muslim? Have you talked to them about Islam? 
kuntum khairu umma ukhrija lin nas ta'muru nabil ma'ruf wa tanhauna 'anil munkar wa tu'minu nabillah wa la takum minkum umma yad'una ila al-khair and the prophet said ballighu anni wa la aya have you conveyed the message to them no you have betrayed islam you don't care about your friend you don't care about your neighbor you must show that we are a caring umma like how the prophet was sent to save people wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alamin this ummah is for to represent the prophet to bring rahmah not to bring problem we hope that we will become the savior for other people not troublemaker wala takuna qalla ala nas don't be a problematic to other people but become al mu'min manfa'atun a believer always bring benefit to others not a problem to others and insha'Allah may Allah strengthen our iman and make us among the salihin the siddiqin and I like to end my second khutbah today with the reminder of Allah inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayuhal lazina amanu Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Wa yakulu alayhi afdal as-salawa taslim Man salla alayya marra Sallallahu alayha bi'ashar Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ahli Muhammad Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ahli Ibrahim Innaka hamidun majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ahli Muhammad كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد ورد الله عم ورد الله مع الأربعة الخلفاء إما خلفاء أبو بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وأن بقية أصحاب النبي كأجمعين والتابعين ومن تابعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم سب إيماننا إليك اللهم اغفر لحينا وميتنا وشاهدنا وغائبنا وصغيرنا وكبيرنا وزكرنا وأنثانا اللهم من أحييته منا فأحيي على الإسلام ومن توفيته منا فتوفاه على الإيمان اللهم طهر قلوبنا من النفاق والشرك وأعمالنا من الرياء وأرسنتنا من القذب وأعيننا من القيانة إنك تعلم القائنة الأعيون ما تفي الصدور اللهم زدنا علما نافئا ورزقا طيبا حلالا واسعا مباركا فيه وعملا متقبلا ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا أزاب النار وقنا أزاب النار وقنا أزاب النار إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلم تسليما إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعزكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروني أذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تغفرون ولا ذكر الله الأكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون أقيموا الصلاة